Spectrum News 13's Samantha Jo Roth speaks with NASA's new administrator about how the agency plans to tackle climate change. When you look out the window of a spacecraft, uh, it really uh, it gives you a different perspective. As it explores the heavens, NASA is now also going to take a closer look at what's happening here on Earth. It's a mission that's personal for NASA's new administrator, Bill Nelson, a former U.S. senator and astronaut who flew on the space shuttle Columbia 35 years ago. I could see how we were messing up our climate. And uh, that made me much more sensitive to want to be a good steward of our climate. So, indeed, it informed my public service. Earth exploration is not exactly a new role for NASA, but now that work will be much more focused with the development of the Earth System Observatory. The plan is to launch five satellites over eight years that will enable the observatory to analyze everything from aerosols in the atmosphere to the rise in sea levels. All of this data over the next 10 years when these five observatories are put up is going to give us a picture of our planet and our climate to better understand what is happening. In your role as a Florida senator, you've seen the destruction that hurricanes can cause specifically on your home where you live. I mean, do you feel like that's part of what you're bringing into this job? That's what I shared yesterday in a meeting with the president about uh, the technology that NASA has and has developed in order for us to avoid major disasters in the future. Some of the satellites are already being developed and a joint U.S.-India mission to explore the atmosphere is scheduled for next year. But some of NASA's new plans still need funding from Congress. The agency's annual Earth science budget has hovered around $2 billion for years. Nelson's trying to boost that to nearly $2.3 billion. I'm going back to uh, the Senate and talk to one of the top uh, members of the Appropriations Committee. Uh, and I'm going to beg for more money where NASA needs it. Nelson argues the future of Earth depends on it. In Washington, Samantha Joe Roth, Spectrum News.